Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. Yes, it's me, Letter, the, the bell ringer. Must be real shocked to hear me speaking for once. Wasn't that I couldn't talk all this time, I simply chose not to. I rang the, I rang the cross road bell. Deep inside my heart, I decided I would speak to no one. The secrets I've been guarding are now starting to leak out. Do you know the time has come to tell you everything? What I'm about to tell you might not want to know. Even so, you must abs you absolutely must hear it. It'll be a long story, but please listen to it all. Okay, we will listen. Given who you are and how you've lived, what I, I have to say will tear at your hearts. There is just so much to tell. So I decided to have Singbug jangling behind me, memorize everything I say. Ready, Mr. Singbug? He jumped. And go, there existed a world. A world different from what the people on the, these islands think of. This world was incredibly big. More people lived on this world than there are grains of sand on these nowhere islands. I know it may be hard to imagine, but such a world once existed. Understand? Yes. At some point, the world wound up destroyed. Naturally, it was humans who destroyed it. So in the back of their minds, everyone had an inkling that it would happen at some point. And it really did happen. So that world is no more... Everything so far has been about the end of the world. Did you understand all of it? Yes. Just where the end of the world, a white ship came to these islands. One of really all the people of Pesnoi Village. Yes, for the white ship were those were those few who had managed to escape the world. The people in the ship went by somewhat by their names from the previous world. The white ship plan had been set in place before the world was destroyed. Although they're part of the world, these nowhere islands are a special place. They were the only one place that would remain even if the world was lost. The one and only place where people could survive. And so the white ship arrived at these islands. Everything so far has been about the white ship. Did you understand all of it? Yes. Have you committed everything so far to memory, Mr. Stinkbug? It jumps. The reason these islands are special is because they harbor a giant dragon nearly as large as these islands themselves. Long, long ago, people lived together with the dragon. However, at some point, the people and the dragon could no longer coexist. Seizing himself with needles, the dragon was placed in a long, long sleep by the ancestors of the Mad Gypsy people who have lived here since ancient times. Ever since, the Mad Gypsies have guarded the needles in an effort to prevent the dragon from being awoken until his power is truly needed. Thus, until the time of its awakening, the dragon continued to sleep as the power of, of er, the earth itself. And so, because of its tremendous energy of the dragon hidden be deep below, these islands were protected from the end of the world. Everything so far has been about the dragon and the Mad Gypsies. Did you understand all of it? Yes. Those who came here about or the white ship feared another end of the world more than anything else. They felt that the world's destruction was a direct result of the way they have lived. Some people of the white ship discussed things a great time. They shared their wisdom and spoke with grave seriousness, and then they arrived at their conclusion. They decided to completely erase everyone's memories of the previous world and start their lives over with new rules and new roles. Yes, in short, everyone would play out the ideal story that they had come up with. That is what happened. People would restart their lives in a simple peaceful village in the kind of place they wish they had grown up in. They would erase their memory of everything, the world, the, their belongings, their rules, and they would begin their new lives. Everyone's mem memories would be reset and voice to the newly created story, and the, Sizmil the village of Tazmeli came to be. And it was necessary to record the fact that the memory replacement had taken place. Hummingbird Egg was the device used to store the memories of the white ship people. Wes and his son Fatigid both playing the roles of thieves, were set to take action should a dangerous situation occur. Remember when they went to Oso Castle? Went to receive the secret of the people of the white ship. And there's one more other thing. Me. It was essential that one person retained memory of the previous world and to sort of keep watch over things. I was the only one in the village of Tesmo who wasn't given a role in the new story. The sound of my bell served as a suggestion to keep everyone's fabricated memories from reverting. My name letter comes from the word leader. No, that it was not me now it's anyone special. It was just that I was a particularly taller man than all the others. So Ponda suggested I was selected because it would be easier for me to stand out. I mean, so tell people would want to come see me, you know. So I was given the role of revealing these secrets when the time truly called for it. Everything so far about has been about those who lost everything. Although Tasmanian village exists in reality, it was originally created as part of a story. I know this may be difficult to believe, but do you understand so far? Yes. I mean, I also talk about Oso Castle. Apparently, long ago, a kingdom existed on this island centered around the king of Oso. However, when we arrived on the white ship, the people of this kingdom were gone. It seemed to have left the islands, fearing the dragon's eventual awakening someday. Before boarding the white ship, Princess Chosen was an infant who had lost her mother and father. 
Upon coming to these islands, she was going to the Mad Gypsy Stories, given the role of Princess of Oso Castle. West and Fatigid being her retainers was another part of the fabricated story. Oso Castle is one of the few and precious relics of this island's past. We crafted our story in haste, so the, so the people inside it have very little past or history. Have you noticed no one in Tesmo can talk about things from 100 or 1,000 years ago? Because we had one to create an entire plethora of mentioned legends, but our story was made in such a hurry that we weren't able to, which is a real shame. I'm not sure of much of what I'm saying, you'd rather not hear it, but it's the truth. Have you listened to everything so far? Yes. And the Slink Bubble committed it to memory. You have no idea how it would turn out. Things were actually went rather well. The people who arrived when the White Ship had fully taken to their new identities. They believed they had always lived together peacefully. So a person by the name of Porky stumbled upon these islands. Then everything started to go amok. He seems to use a time distorted machine to travel through space and time at will. However, she was apparently shut in shut out from all this time and spaces and tumbled into the era of this island these islands even worse she used this time disorder to bring many people from other areas here the big mats as well as everyone in new york city were all brought here and brainwashed by porky this porky fellow seems to be view these islands as his own personal toy box which is going to with which he can do anything he wants he would take the, these normal parts and recombine them to make creepy new chimeras a ch childlike dictator, he began doing whatever he pleased, including building Thunder Tower and forming his own army. Quickly, eventually, he learned the White Ship secret because he's a traitor among the Mad Gypsies. I understand about Porky, or also known as Pokey in America. This traitor was Lacria, the seventh Mad Gypsy, and the only one you haven't met yet. After Lacria, John Joyce was Porky. Porky learned around the White Ship people in the secret of the Sea Winged Dragon. Porky decided to pull the needles to wake the dragon so he could use the power for himself. Dragon is the power of the earth itself, you see. Whoever pulls the ceiling needles will become the dragon's master. However, only six few are capable of pulling the dragon's needle. Apparently, neither the, neither the map gypsies nor Porky have that capacity. With the needle. Ooh. We have to stop Porky. Oh, God, no. You can't allow it to happen. You're right. We have to. I understand why the dragons are awakening. Huh. Yes, I understand it all. Oh great. Hundredth floor of Empire Porky building. Okay. So now it's war time. Got the sink bugs memory. Is that actually an item? It is. Wow. Never even thought to look to see if that was an item. Well, we're gonna save and I'll see you in part four. Because that part took over ten, uh, nine minutes. So, I will see you guys in part four.